96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. This morning, and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It is Thursday, the 4th of April, 2024, and you are on the clock with Erin Green. We had a sort of light show this morning. I, uh, first of all, let me remind you who love rock music. Soundwaves Music Festival is quickly approaching Saturday, April 13th. This year's festival is featuring the Bahamas' favorite Pineapple Down. Pineapple Down uh, is going to be a number of fabulous Bahamian acts performing at that event. I've got a ticket giveaway, Mr. Nuri. I got a ticket giveaway. I'm giving away... Four tickets. I'm not sure if I could hear you in the mic. Okay, what type of tickets am I give, you giving away? Still can't hear you. Yeah. Producer, can you hear it? I have it now. I hear it now. Okay, good stuff. Uh, I'm giving away four tickets to the Hannah Hasty Times South Out this Saturday at St. John's College campus. We're giving away four South Out tickets today for the Hannah Hasty Times. South South, the South South uh, will be hosted along with the Walkathon. The Walkathon starts at 7 a.m. The Walkathon starts at 7 a.m. South South will begin. We begin serving at 8 a.m. We want you to complete the Walkathon before you eat. We don't want you to catch cramp on the route. So we're giving away. For tickets, you guys take down these numbers so you'll be ready to call when we start the trivia. 323 6232, 325 4316, 325 4259, and 242 300 5720. Mr. Producer, play that uh, song for me, Mr. Nuri, that are not Bahamian. And I'm playing some songs that are Bahamian. It's a bit of a culture Thursday. This song is called Golden Hour by an artist. I think it's Jake spelled J-V-K-E. This young man went viral. It's something he, a song he composed by himself. He introduced it to the world on social media, and it went viral. It's called Golden Hour. It's a beautiful track. That's nice. Listen to it, man. Just a second. We were just two lovers. Feet up on the dash, driving nowhere fast, burning through the summer. Radio on blast, make the moment last. She got solar power. Minutes feel like hours. She knew she was the baddest. Can you even imagine falling like I did? For the love of my life. I like it. It's nice. Yesterday's show ended, I think, with me asking Pumpkin Eater to name an MP, a cabinet minister, and I'll tell him why. He should be on the resign list. I want to shift the energy today. And I tell you why, just for the top of the show, just for a couple of minutes, I want to talk about two that have passed away. Just for a, a brief moment. First of all, on behalf of the executive committee of the Hannah Hasty Times family, we share condolences with the family of Mona Burroughs Knowles. She was the secretary of the executive committee, and she passed away tragically two days ago. On behalf of the entire committee, 
and the Hannah Hasty Tynes family, we send condolences to her friends, loved ones, and closest family members. I also want to just take a moment to send condolences to the family of Lizona Bethel Bennett, wife of Dr. Ian Bethel Bennett, lecturer at the University of the Bahamas. She passed away a couple of months ago and I was unaware of her transition. It, it hit me, it was a shock, in the same way to find out that Pam Woods had passed. Mona and Lizona were two, are two. They embodied a principle, an idea, a thought that many Bahamians embody. And if you were fortunate enough to know either of these women, you were indeed a fortunate person. Mona and Lizona lived a Christian principle. Whenever you were in their presence, they made you feel special. But it's not because they were singling you out as a special individual, because they're the type of women that everybody they came into contact with felt special for knowing them. They were the embodiment of the, the Christian principle that you are to love your neighbor as you love God, recognizing that all things are God's creation. And Lizona and Mona were the type of women that made you feel God's love every time you had the fortune of interacting with them. So I want to play some music today, like the type of music, Mr. Neary, that make you smile and laugh and cry at the same time. That's why I chose that song, Golden Hour, to open up with. So I realized just something quickly before we transition. Losing a friend, losing the intimacy of a friendship, of a healthy friendship, is equally as painful, can be equally as painful as losing the intimacy of a romantic relationship. And we collectively do some work on how we celebrate life, how we experience loss, how we navigate grief. It is a natural part of the human experience. It is something that we should prepare ourselves for, and certainly something we have a responsibility to prepare future generations of Bahamians for. We can create a space, we can hold a space, where we celebrate, where we experience both grief and joy at the same time. And we must begin doing that for one another. That's something you can't turn to any supranational or intergovernmental agency to help you do that. That is something we have to do on our own. Producer, play the next song on the list for me. A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. I'll keep it light today. Like I said, I got a couple of Bahamian songs on here. And then I have songs that all Bahamians know and love. And after this song, I'm going to throw out the first question for the Hannah Hasty Tyne South Out ticket giveaway. The South Out is this Saturday, April the 6th, 2024. All right, producer, don't worry about it. Play the end by Foreign Sound. Remember this? This is our Bahamian classic, the Foreign Sound. The end. Symphony 
by foreign sound you guys got to go and check out the sound waves music festival uh, I think Charo the Fox and Sly Band I think they called anyway they're performing and Charo is a member of the band the foreign sound um, foreign sound as well it's gonna be a wonderful weekend sound waves musical festival all right, for the first ticket giveaway, Mr. Newey, are you ready? Yeah, man. The first ticket giveaway for the Hannah Hasty Tying South Out this Saturday. Here are the numbers to call, 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259-242-300-5720 for Family Island residents. You can play along, and if you can't make it to New Providence, you can give your South Out ticket to someone who will be here. First question of the day. First question of the day. How many public holidays remain on the 2024 calendar? How many public holidays remain on the 2024 calendar? I think the Bahamas may have the highest number of public holidays in the world. Your choices for the South South ticket, chicken, turkey, or pig feet, pig's feet, chicken, turkey, or pig feet, South. Numbers to call 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259 and 242-300-5720. That's 242-300-5720. Producer, I see we have a caller on the line. Good morning, caller. Good morning, ma'am. It's 11 holidays. Pardon? 11. Okay. There are 11 holidays in 2024, but that is not the correct answer, ma'am. The question was, I got another call on the line, so I'm going to, right. The question is, how many public holidays are left, remain on the 2024 calendar? Good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Seven. Yes, it is seven. It is seven. We started off with 11. We start, I think we should add another one, I gotta be honest with you. We might as well just buck it out. One public holiday per month, and then we have a, a surrounding each public holiday. So here's what I need you to do, ma'am. I need you to give your cell phone number to the producer. Okay. Do you want chicken, turkey, or sauce? I mean, or, or pig's um, feet? Can I donate it to someone? You could, yes, of course you can. Yeah, I have donated it to someone. Okay, and you can let them choose. Yeah. All right, but make sure to leave your cell phone number with the producer. Hmm. So we can connect, and then you can connect me to the person you're giving it to. I mean, I don't know. You could just give it to, I just answered the question. Oh, so I could just give it away? Yeah. Uh-huh. You, so you, tell me, ma'am, what is it? Is it the chicken, the turkey, or the pig's feet you don't like? Um, I don't like pig feet, but I like, um, chicken and turkey. So, is it sauce you don't like, or are you working on Saturday morning? Yeah, I'm working on Saturday morning. Can I be nosy and ask you, what do you do, <laughs> ma'am? <laughs> no, I'd rather not. Okay, because I'm just saying, if you wait for the office of the Prime Minister, I can get someone to come pick up your sauce for you. <laughs> You're busy working. Oh. We'll find someone to donate the sauce to on your behalf, on your behalf. Yeah. But give. See, the, I have another so so that same morning. So. You don't want them to be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the world of mixed sauce. You never had a sauce combo. Yeah. Okay yeah, then. Sauce combo. All right. One last question before you go, ma'am. Have you ever had hot dog sauce before? No, no. Uh-uh. Why you say it like that, though? <laughs> no, but not mix, not with hot dog. Never with hot dog. No. I'm telling you, with the right hot dog, that's probably one of the best sauces ever. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, Mr. Nuri, I got another question. For the audience, question number two. The number's to call, 
and 242-300-5720. That's 242-300-5720. I see I have a text winner for that question as well, and the text came in before the call. All right. We got a caller on the line. Let's see what they're calling for. Good morning, caller. Morning, Mary. Morning. I I need you to repeat that, sir. I have. N- oh, you're still waiting on the next question. Oh, you still waiting on the next question? When you on the phone? Hang up and call right back. Call. Here's the next question. On, the, on February the 12th, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that the National Honors Awards nomination process has officially started. National Honors Awards process has officially started. Six Bahamians have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Six Bahamians have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Who is the only woman on that list? Six Bahamians have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Who is the only woman on the list? Let's go to the phone line. Oh, phone line disappeared. Phone line disappeared. All right, so let's go to that story. Again, the question is, there are six Bahamian, Bahamians who have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Six Bahamians have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Who is the only woman on the list? Who is the only woman on the list? As we wait for someone to call in and answer that question, I'll read from the article, the nomination process for the 2024 National Honors Awards officially starts. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Fred Mitchell, announced that the nomination process is now open to the general public. March 29th, 2024 will be the deadline to turn in nominations. So it opened on February the 12th and it closed on March 29th, 2024. Mr. Nuri, did you see a notice of this nomination process no. officially starting? No. You think that's sufficient time, a month and a half? If the chairman says it's sufficient time, I'm content with the chairman. I, I, for, I forgot it. Yeah. But he's not speaking in his capacity as chairman. I feel that. But what if he's not speaking in his capacity as chairman? What if he's speaking in his capacity? What if? What if? What if he is? And if he is, I am content with whatever the chairman says. A month and a half is sufficient. If he say two weeks is sufficient, it's two weeks. That's where I go and went. I guess. Who am I to question the chairman, man? A Bahamian citizen. Producer, let's go to the call. Go to the call. Good morning, caller. A pleasant good morning. Is it the Honorable James Janet Boswick? No, it is not. Thank you. You're welcome. It isn't, but soon to be, I imagine. Soon to be. Besides uh, Dame Janet Boswick's stellar political career, the Dame has established herself as a women's rights activist. And I say activist versus advocate Mm -hmm. because she's been working with programs for young women. And she's been recognized internationally for that. And just recently, uh, when I say recently, the last five years, uh, when she was honored amongst the greatest women in the Caribbean, that was one of the... The triennial yes. uh, women's um, meeting, Commonwealth women's meeting, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that was one of the things they mentioned. Yeah, so, and, and I think definitely a name that we should see soon on the list, not just a stellar political career, but then sort of dedicated the latter half of her career to directly, intimately supporting the development of young women and girls. I think just a fabulous, just a fabulous thing. All right. Uh, again, the question, there are six, six Bahamians have been awarded the Order of National Hero. Who is the only woman on the list? She is also a dame. She's also 
a dame. Looking at the text, no, Mother Pratt is not the correct answer. I get a text that says, morning, Aaron, what's going on with the Port Authority and the government? They gave the Port Authority 30 days to pay or else. Else what? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to the phone line. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, they might be doing what? No, actually. No. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, but call back. The answer can be found online. You can find the answer by searching. Uh, this person was, I think, the most recent awardee, and so it may not be in the textbooks yet. I see we got another call, producer. Let's go to the phone line. Good morning, caller. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Is it uh, Marguerite Pinnett? No, it is not. Is Lady? It's not Lady Marguerite Pindling. Or is she a dame She's as well? She's dame now. She's dame as well. No, yes. it's not Dame Marguerite Pindling. It is another dame. Uh, and I'll give you all another clue. I'll throw in... Thank you, caller. Please feel free to... 325-4316-325-4259-242-300-5720. All right. Here's a clue. Here is a clue. This woman was the first woman to be appointed to the Senate and the first woman president of the Senate. And uh, she is the first woman to contest an election in the Bahamas. Good morning, caller. This is Dame Anita Alice. No, it isn't. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. I just, I just smile because look at how many dames we have. Good morning, caller. Good morning. What about Dame Joan Sawyer? No, it's not Dame Joan Sawyer either. Pro producer, play the song by Pat Roll at the bottom of the list. And this is another clue. This is closer to that person's error. Thank you very much, cousin. You could call back. Let's go to the next caller. Good morning, caller. Producer, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Good morning, caller. Yes, good morning. Is it Dame Doris Johnson? Yes, it is. Hey. There you go, Dame Doris Johnson. I need you, don't hang up. I need you to leave your cell phone number with the producer. Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. I got text as well, a winner by text as well, to the text with the last three digits, 2383. Three. And the text with the last four digits, 2555. Expect a call. Mr. Neary, did you know that answer? No. Okay, that's cool. What I was pleased with, I mean, when I say pleased, I just tickled. Mm -hmm. We have so many dames. Yes. When you hear the names of those women, right? Yes. These are all what we like to call well-behaved and respectable women. Yes, professionals. Professionals, right? They... they standards, icons in, in society. You know what I like about that list? I believe all them women set a fire once or twice. I think... You're not um, the Austin awesome type of fire. The straw market lady, and, and, and the name escapes me. I think her, she's a Simonette. Mm -hmm. uh, I think... Hannah Hasey Times, too. Right. I think she's a dame also. Right. Uh, I think she led some type of women's... Uh, thing suffrage. Of, suffrage movement. Move, yeah. yeah, movement. And I think she's a dame. And the re reason why I brought it up is uh, well-mannered women professionals. Mm -hmm. And I think she's a woman of the soil. Like, a co contrast to that. Um, well. And, and when, I, when you say well-mannered, she was loud in her movement of trying to make change come to, come to change. Well, this is it. This is the balance. Because all of those women were, and even the woman of the soil, a generation where we understood that your hands could be in the soil all day and you're still a professional. Mm. You still do what you do well at, to a standard, right? And with care and concern. But that they are also, I think, the type of women that Pat Ramen was talking about mm. when he wrote Baintown Woman. <laughs> when Baintown Woman catch a fire, even the devil run. Because there's a well-known adage that well-behaved women rarely make history. 
But well-behaved women often have a fire burning deep inside. All right, so no, not Ivy Dumont, not Italia Johnson, not Mother Pratt, all women in their own right. All right, let's go to the call, caller producer. Good morning, caller. Morning, Doris Sanders Johnson. Listen, you have the correct answer, but we already have a winner. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, 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 no. Thank you, Sanders. I didn't. I didn't find Sanders in the article in the research. Sanders is her maiden name. Yes. Okay. Do you know which island with where she's from? I think uh, Cat Island. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Thank you very much. I'm going to throw the third question out. I'm going to throw another question out right now. Caller. Good morning, caller. Yeah, uh, Aaron Green, I hope you're doing well. I am, sir. Thank you. Uh, what is the question that you're asking the public? Okay, so I got an answer. The last question I asked was, who is the only woman on the list of six Bahamians who have been awarded the Order of National Hero? Uh, that might be Dr. Damon's name, Doris Johnson. It is. Yeah, when you said the woman being in the Senate, She's the first Senate president. She's the first uh, to be appointed, the first woman minister to be appointed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, listen, I just heard <laughs> a portion of it. I said, let me call and see if I could, could, could um, put that in to the public. It just goes to show you that there is a lack of understanding among the Bahamian people in regards to our own history, and it has to be dealt with. Yes. But um, someone already answered it, so um, that, that's good. Thank you. But before Thank you, you go, much, no, no, don't go, sir. Oh. <laughs> Is there something about Dame Doris Johnson we younger people should know that wouldn't necessarily be put in the history book? Like, was she a pork, was she a pork and champion in ninth grade? You ever see her catch a fish with her bare hands? Anything like that? No, I didn't know her to that extent. No, okay. I, I, I'm not sure about that. Absolutely. But if she did, she did some unusual things. Yes, sir. You know, uh, she was a fierce woman. She um, fought for women's rights in this country. Mm -hmm. I think Bahamian women, as I said on my show yesterday, I said the men need to learn how to respect our women because they make the, the women make the men look good. I got 50 years' experience with that. Yes, sir. So uh, I tell him, boy, don't say nothing against these Bahamian women. They have helped us tremendously. They always make the men look good. Absolutely. The men just need to pull up their shocks talks and um, start, you know, showing that leadership that the women are depending on. There you go. Yeah. Thank you very much, Aaron. No, absolutely. Thank you. Thank All you fair. very, very much. Uh, yes, I got, okay. Absolutely. I got text here that says it's Sands, not Sanders. That's okay. Okay. We will make that note. Ah, don't watch nothing text. I'm not going to read that one out loud. Producer. Play the one, the song by Pat Roll. Oh, you, it's not pulling up, hey. Uh, of the song, you know, Love uh, by uh, Nat King Cole. L is for the way you look at me. There's a version of that song performed by Pat Roll, the Bahamian balladeer, online. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot pull it up at the moment. Love, L-O-V-E, Pat Roll. I'm going to go to the phone line, producer. Good morning, caller. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, good, thank you. How you do? Martin Neary. Blessings to you, mashallah. Yeah, I'm going to um, hey, what you talking about today? <laughs> We're doing trivia. <laughs> We're doing trivia today. But you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about today uh, is this meeting, the Jitney meeting taking place tonight. Yeah, I'm interested in that because um, well, we can talk more about that next week because they want to talk about Jitney reform. Let's see if they can reform it. Mm -hmm. I think and, it's one of the that'll be one of the most transformational systemic yeah. changes for individual people. Right. I also want to remind we. Um, I remember in the first and the Christie's government they bought the status quo bus system. 
that's yeah. important. Yeah, I think so as well. I think creating a safe space for young people to, to, yeah. to travel separate from older people is important mm. as well. I want to congratulate my, I'm proud to say graduate um, our swimming team and our track and field team. Let's talk about that tomorrow. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, let's I know I talk about them like in more detail, but I want to out there. Yeah, man. Yes, of course. Congratulations to them. Sixth uh, grade. Right. Um, uh, also, um, um, I think when you call it, call um, these great people you call being done, I think that we we'll probably do it next year. Mm-hmm. Take a look at honoring these being done. We are on a woman's day. But a woman's always repeat with the politicians. Right. But they don't go deep down in the heart of over the hill and honor a woman who play a vital role. In the community. In, in the community. In, in the like function. The yeah, yeah. And the other type of camp road woman. Yeah. All the, all the women. Yeah. I'm sure you know some woman could be on it. Yeah, man. Like the women who make, like the women who sell breakfast. Yeah. Who have fruit. They sell fruit. They make sure there's fruit available for kids in the morning when they go into school. Yes. Right? The, the women in communities that make sure as many children as they can have a safe space to be after school until their parents come home. Mm-hmm. All, all types. Women who what did the woman, I hope, they could recognize she started, she started this disabled organization. Sheila uh, Kalma? Uh, Sheila Kalma? No. But I mean, yes, and? Uh, she's one of them, but I talk yeah. about Phyllis Audrey. Okay. Phyllis Audrey went to the to Bahamas. Okay. And I surprised BAP, they haven't recognized her. She need to be recognized and among the Punk, you need them. to send me a link to some information about her. And sure. Um, I, I hope I could find it. I could try to get some information about her. All right. And I'll do some research myself. Yeah, that's just want to throw it out to you. Like you say, you're talking about the sermon t- uh, on Friday. Yeah, absolutely. And Mad Madness. Uh, and March Madness, absolutely. Uh, have a good day. Yes, sir. Producer, play that song for me. This is our very own Pat Roll singing Love. L is for the way you look at me. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only girl I see. B is very, very Extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore and love is all that I can give to you. Love is just the game of made for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. And love was made for me and you. There's something so powerful about hearing your own voice over the airwaves, hearing your own dialect, hearing your own sound, hearing your own people. And what a beautiful thing for young people to hear their own voice in the world, singing a classic. Nuri, you ever thought a Bahamian could sound as good as or better than Nat King Cole? Um, I like Pat Rule. I think that's better than Nat King Cole's version. Pat Rule is talented, yes. Yeah, I'd, I'd love... That version. I see we have another caller on the line. Producer, let's go to that call. Good morning, caller. Miss Very Extraordinary. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you, sir. How are you doing? I'm morning, thank God. Uh, what I want to say, right? Yes. Miss Phyllis Aldrich, right? Okay. Nice Phyllis Aldrich. Uh, she came here from Britain way back, right? Mm-hmm. I think... I, in the 50s, because she, she used to be our nice and we used to go camping to Wales Key. Okay. And she used to work at, at, at the, the Red Cross and also the Princess Margaret Hospital. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, she was a very fine person. Was camping like on Whale Key? Oh, it was nice swimming. I learned to swim when I... When I first went over there, and I was about seven, seven years old. Nice. Seven, eight, seven, eight years old. It couldn't be no more than that. It was very nice, you know. Boys, we used to go, the girls and the boys together. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, 
we start going the boys one time and the girls and the other time. Yeah, it, it was very nice. It was very very nice camping out. We need sometimes we go crabbing, we go swimming, you know, and stuff like that. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much, Brayman. And right. it, Nuri, you went camping. I went camping. Yes. It's an experience that Brayman went camping. It's an experience we need All to. All young, uh, uh, young adults, teenagers should go camping. To yeah. Experience that, that outside life and survival. Right. And that, that, that's one part of it. Another part of it is living with people you don't normally live with. Yes. Sharing space with people you don't normally share space with. Yes. Uh, and what you is equity and equality. Like mm. We all come from different backgrounds, but we all have access to what we need to have the same experience mm. at summer camp. Mm -hmm. I got a text here that says, uh, that's a Bahamian. He sounds like the original. How old is he? Do you know how old Pat Roll is? Um, when I was seven, Pat was uh, about 45. So right. that's like, what, 40 years older than I am? So he's about 85 uh, now. Yeah, they're about. In his mid-80s. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you know if Pat Roll is still alive? I do not know. I, 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 the last I've, I've seen him was he was performing at the Atlantis. And that, he was around about 60 then. Yeah. Right? So that's about 20 years ago. I haven't seen him. Uh, and again, yeah. I grew up in, in that, 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 that community. And he was like a star yeah. in, in, in the community. I mean, yeah. he's, he's definitely a star. Another text says, speaking of writing songs, the Sports Center commercial... They say they think it's sketch, the you know, Bahamian artist sketch carry, sketch singing it. Mm. Uh, it starts with, you can get your kicks. Is that a song remake or did he write and compose that? I haven't heard it, but it may be a, a cover of uh, Route 66, right? Mm -hmm. You get your kicks on Route 66? Maybe. Shine Bahamas is doing a wonderful thing. He has uh, opened up a open verse challenge, mm -hmm. but he also has another program where he is raking, scraping classic songs. Really? Now, when I say classic, I don't mean like Pat Rule classic, mm -hmm. what our generation or Brayman's generation would call mm -hmm. classic. It's a more contemporary classics. We mentioned that before. At least you mentioned it before yeah. on another show that we should redo a number of songs in, in our Bohemian Rake and Scrape. Uh, so we can appreciate it differently. Absolutely. I, first of all, I think we need an album of Bahamian ballads, standards, and covers of international standards. A question to you. Um, fanfare, Jalknu fanfare, you know, the, the, the verbiage that they say in chants. Mm -hmm. Is there a CD of the various fanfare? My child... I would just ask me what a fanfare is. Mm -hmm. And then she's asking me what Saxon Moon is, Roots, and who says in the morning, right? All right. And she, did, she wasn't aware. And I said, there should be a CD. I, I didn't know if there was a so CD. I'm exists. not sure if there's a CD, but I do know you can go on YouTube and search, right? What, search fanfare? Search Junkanoo fanfare. Then when, as you start searching, you'll realize like Valley produces a ton of videos, recordings of their practices, of their performances, of the fanfares, yeah. and they label for each year. She wants to join in the, the chorale in terms of chanting with the junk in the groups. She doesn't want to listen to the whole music thing. Right, but then you yeah. stop, you just press pause. Oh, that's Once too much you... effort for her, man. She just wants to listen to the no. <laughs> She's distracted quickly. But un unfortunately, <laughs> there is no one singular entity collating, pulling together these things and cataloging them. That's money in that. You can imagine I, different fanfares and you said, this is a collection of behemoth fanfares. Now, who are we? No. Whoa, no. Anyway, okay. It's an idea for somebody. Producer, somebody said, the song is not Route 66. It's shop, shop till you drop. I don't think we have that on the board. Text, I don't think we have that on the board. And no, I'll play KB, but I'm not playing that other person. Oh, the Texas said they, okay, somebody else. The Texas said they want to hear KB collabing with a number of younger artists and, and pop, pop international artists. Mm -hmm. I think so. KB's latest album, Cuba, has a wonderful fusion flair to it. 
I love it. I love it. The texter says, listen, this is a sports center commercial and it's hard. He said, the lyrics are shop, shop till you drop. I have no idea, texter. I have no idea. So there is a meeting taking place this evening. I've been looking for the details for the meeting, so maybe I could go. I am hoping desperately that this uh, transportation stakeholder meeting isn't being held in the late evening because how will people get to it if bus stop running? How will people get to it if the bus has stopped running? Yuri, could you see if you could find uh, any details on the meeting? Um, but I'm going to start with the article, Fair Increase Not Enough, says Bus Drivers Union President. Joe Beth Colby Davis, Minister of Transport and Energy, said in Parliament yesterday that in an effort to enhance the busing sector, her ministry will be hosting a town hall meeting for the bus franchise holders, the public, and public bus drivers in early April. She said the meeting will be to discuss the upcoming bus fare increase. And here are the details for the meeting. The meeting will take place tonight at 6.30 p.m. Tonight, 6.30 p.m. at Government High School. Tonight, 6.30 p.m. at Government High School. It's a public bus town hall for Jitney drivers, owners, and members of the public and members of the public. Are the Jitneys running, extra, are they extending their run time this evening to pick up people to take to the meeting? Because key stakeholders are people who use the Jitney mm. as their regular means of transportation. And how do they get to engage the conversation? Imagine that they would have to catch a ride to get to the stakeholder meeting on public bus system. Interesting. Government High School, 6.30. Government High School, 6.30 tonight. That's the 4th of April meeting. I got another text here that says, the Boatman song sounds good. I'm looking at Boatman. I'm a Boatman is... One of my favorites right now. I'm glad you brought that up because, Nuri, you think, when do you think we will start seeing water buses? When we start seeing ferries to take people from the southwest and the southeast New Providence up and around to town, to the north side? Would, would it be faster? I think it could be faster. I mean, wouldn't it be faster? I guess so. I mean, to go around, say, from Bay Street to go to Adelaide. By ferry? By, by, by ferry. fast. Bro. I mean, you don't want super fast. I mean, you're talking yeah. about Exuma fast. Like a, oh. like a the single ferry. If I did to go to a Lutra. Yeah. The Bohingi type ferry. Right. You think that would alleviate some of the traffic? But what about, it would. But what about the price? That's a minimum of $10, man. No, and no, 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 no. It can't be $10. Oh, do you go that far with gas? So I, I, the idea that if it becomes more expensive for me, but if I get in there the quickly, quicker, and more efficient, uh, right. I, I might want to spend the ten dollars. But I, I, I think ten dollars is, is is exorbitant, and then you ever see where the price is to go from 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 Porter Ski to not Porter Ski from George Dock to um, uh, PI by taxi? Yeah, that's like, no, I don't. That's, I don't, that's right there, and that's like four dollars. I don't engage in like I don't go to watch horror movies. I don't oh, pay gosh. to watch. If it's on TV for free, maybe I'll watch it. Right? If I forget where the remote is, I don't pay <laughs> to be terrorized and oppressed. Yes, I meant to say that the taxi fares are too high. Mm. Certainly, they're not for taxis. Could not be for Bahamians, and it's obviously at a crisis point because people are willing to risk breaking the law. I'm willing to risk other people's lives to provide what appears to be a, an alternative, right? Which is the ride share companies. But there's been no public statement as to the insurance issues with ride share companies. But that's how desperate people are for alternate solutions. 
um, another indicator that there's a problem. How many rental plates do you think are on the road right now? A lot. There are almost at least almost 7,000 white and green plates. I've seen numbers reaching up to 6,000, like 750 something. And then the government yellow plates with white plates, but there were white plates and yellow plates with the same numbers on the road at the same time, the self-drive plates, right? And so we don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. But to um, yellow plates, to imagine that there are over 6,000 rental plates on the road indicates that the dysfunctional public transportation system is a problem. It's a major problem. Money that should be invested into other areas of our lives, individually and collectively, things like insurance, things like extracurricular activities, things like educational resources, this, this, these, this money is being spent needlessly on transportation, on vehicles that people can't maintain, on renting vehicles. It just is a crisis. Thank you, producer. Let's go to a break. When we come back from the break, maybe a song or two. Can I go to the caller, producer? Okay, we got to go to the break. Caller, please hold the line. We'll be right back. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your gal. Come witness history in the making at the 2024 World Athletic Relays Chase the Sun, Paradise to Paris. Happening here in Nassau, Bahamas. Hundreds of the best runners from more than 40 countries will compete for their place in the 2024 Paris Olympics, May 4th and 5th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Get your tickets early at worldrelaysbahamas24.org or at the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium box office. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. With words you think that I like Found out that I could fight Would I Take you out A little bit more A little bit less A little bit harder than I thought They said A little bit fine A little bit straight Good morning and welcome back to On the Clock with Erin Green. That song is Little Life by Cordelia. I know we are running out of time. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. I called out to explain something. I, uh, I said that I feel this always was a nice, she was a matron. Okay. So it's like a, 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 not just a regular nurse. She's a senior nurse. Thank you, Brayman. Good morning, caller. Hello there. Hi, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. I'm Pat Rose. Good morning, Pat Rose alive. <laughs> oh, praise God. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember me. I'm still alive. Thank you, and, and we didn't, I, I, I hope we didn't shock you with that conversation. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you, too. First of all, I need to know, how old are you now? 86. 86 years young. Blessings. And um, when I was younger, I used to pass by. My name is Cecil Nuri. I'm not sure if you remember who I am, right? But um, you had a little shop on Market Street. Right. 
Yes. And and I, I used to pass there and, and hail you every so often. I wasn't sure. I mean, it was decades ago, by the way. So I, I don't expect you to remember who I am. Mr. Yeah, I'm still here. Good. And I know that you had a lot of records and you used to practice, smoke a, a cigar. Yeah, I, have, I, I turned some of them into CDs. Nice. Okay. Where can we find your, your CDs? Where can we find your music? Pardon me? Where can we find those CDs? I got them right here at, at, at the barbershop. Okay. Where's, Where's the, the barbershop? Barbershop, come, Michael. Okay. Give me some details. Bacardi. Say that again? Bacardi Road. Okay, Bacardi Road. Yeah. All right. Now, What's the name of the barbershop? Rio's Barbershop. Rio. Or Rio Barbershop. Rio, Rio Cooper Barbershop. Okay. Now, are you still performing? Not lately. We got but, I, you know, I still could sing, you know. <laughs> yeah. I gotta... Do you be at the barbershop? Or like, like, every, hang... day, every day, every day. Every day at the barbershop. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, sir. Thank you. Um, first, so, first of all, thank you for creating moments for Bahamians to understand themselves more. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Every, like, for me who grew up on jazz standards and classic jazz, every time I be- hear a Bahamian singing a song at the same quality or even better than the original or, you know, an American singer, it, uh-huh. it reminds me that being Bahamian is enough. Being me is enough. In fact, it is what I'm intended to be. That's my role. And I, yeah. I must celebrate it. Mr. Well, I, um, right, um, as soon as I get, uh, if you can get in touch, I can give you a couple of these CDs I got. Absolutely. I can get Mr. Nuri to drive me down there soon, soon, soon. Right, right. Absolutely. That'd, that'd be nice. I'll, I'll have them for you. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. Um, if, no problem. Can I ask you to give your cell number to the producer so I can call you off air? Um, yeah, I got um, two numbers you can call me by. Okay. Uh, uh, let, let me give them to you. Oh. The first one is 362-0293. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next one is 427 mm-hmm. 57 Thank you very much. Now, one last question before you go. Uh-huh. I, I watched an a interview with Barry White, and he was saying that one morning, he was about 14, he woke up, he walked into the kitchen, he said hello to his mother, and everybody in the kitchen looked around, to f- and including him, to figure uh-huh. out who this new, who this man was in the kitchen. He said his <laughs> voice cracked over, you know, it changed overnight. And uh-huh. even he was shocked. When did you develop this silky voice? Were you 13 singing in the church? Or did you no. develop it later in life? I, I de- no, I developed um, my um, voice early in my teens. Okay. Because I started in 1956. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And I went from there, and people used to tell me I sound like Nark and Cole. At that time, I didn't know who Nark and Cole was, <laughs> really, white or black. I, I didn't know. Yeah. But I was just singing. And my first job was at the Confidential Club. Perhaps we can invite Pat Rowell to be a guest. Yes, And yes, then we yes. can interview him formally, have it on record. Yeah. That the greater Bohemian public can appreciate who he is and, and make sure his legacy is recorded on radio. Can we arrange that with you in the future? Yes, sir. Good. So let's, let's do Absolutely. That. Thank you so much, sir. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you very, you very, very much. Absolutely. Right. Producer, play the song by Dion Warwick. Either of the two. I have two versions of That's What Friends Are For. One, the classic with Dion, Whitney, Luther, and Stevie Wonder. And the other is a remake. Sometimes I just want to show older generations of Bahamians that we're still connected to them. We're still valuing the things that they thought were important. And we are shaping them, molding them, and evolving them to carry them with us to the next generation. This is That's What Friends Are For. 
by Whitney Houston, Dionne Warwick, Luther Vandross, and Stevie Wonder. Thank you for joining us this morning, and thank you for your calls and texts. Thank you for playing the trivia and winning a South South ticket for the Hannah Hasty Time South South Walkathon this Saturday, April the 6th. Walkathon starts at 7, South South at 8, St. John's College Campus. Remember to keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me for sure. Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas.